Well, hey, check it out, man. We got the brand new uh, DHP uh, Choppers T-shirt. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah. Four man Choppers, man. You know what I'm saying? The three bar rim. We celebrating three years. You know what I'm saying? Chopping it up right here on Dine East Podcast. That's what's up. A lot up. of y'all be asking, man. Hey, man, how can I support you? And I say, hey, man, just watch the show. And they say, man, how can I really support you? Hey, man, get a T-shirt right now. DineEastWorld.com. You know what I'm saying? Black, smoke, gray, white. We got the hats. You know what I'm saying? All that. Subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, okay, okay. So you do the eight by JG. So how does the mm. Lunis thing happen? The Lunis thing happened because, and I think I did H Town before Lunis. I'm thinking about it. Reason why I said that was the manager for H Town had another group called Ideal. Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. I'm getting okay. Come on now. Okay, well now I'm finna bring it to you. Okay, the group Ideal was the spinoff after H Town. So I was around the camps. So I, I didn't know Ideal was up under H Town in the yes, same. I didn't, I yes, had no yes, idea. Ideal was up under them. You know, I know all all them guys, Charles, all of them, all of them. So that was the manage the management for H Town still managed the Ideal. He got their group, and he got them signed to the same label that the Loonies was on. Hmm. Right. So um, while he was signed with where the Loonies, Loonies was on, of course I'm in the mix. Of course nobody could do what I do. So that's why I kept relevant because, you know, I just had to stick around because I had that new sound. I was the creator. That's why I'm Papa Roo up to today because I don't care what coast you go to. Wait, if you need that Houston, that, that uh, you mm. know what you got to do, man. Yeah. You got to come get that Roo. If it ain't Roo, it ain't right. Yeah. That's yeah. just what that is. So Ideal was upon the age time, management and all that. So we made that, and Ojo produced that record too and was the theme, the title track of the Looney's first album with that got five on it and mm -hmm, all that. Mm -hmm. It was a Operation Stockholder was the name of the song. So yeah. So I did that back then at Digital Services, Houston. Man. On Chimney Rock. Digital. We all used to be over there. And so that's when you go and do the H Town tour with them. Yes, I went on the H Town tour with them back then. So what so what you singing on tour? Cause you just got these couple of features. Couple right of now. Just come just come out and do my joints. Mm. You know what I mean? When the part come, I just ah, oh, come do, your yeah. Thing, yeah. It's yeah. just like when I did the 400 Degrees with Juvenile, I know we don't get to that, mm. with the um, Cash Money. When we do the 400 Degrees, um, one, of the, one of the biggest things, well, I can't say it was a mistake because everything happened the way it happened because it's supposed to happen that way. Um, I left Cash Money uh, right when we started the Rough Riders tour, the biggest tour, the biggest hip hop oh, tour. Shit. Who does that? What all this okay, could wait, do? Wait, wait. Let, let, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not get into that. This, okay. That's wild. Yes. Okay, wait. Okay, so H Town Tour, uh, Looney's Record, A Rod and MJG. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, we, now we, you connecting with Cash Money. Yes, you know, we got the local. We ain't talking about the local stuff. I've been doing that. Yeah. We're not, you know, with the big moles and the rec shops. and the, we Well, that was later. Like, that was later on. That was after Cash that Money. That was after. Yeah. yeah, there you yeah. go. So, where we at now? Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.